Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box about my channel. Details regarding personal readings, also how to win a personal reading. And then lastly, uh, there will be an extended reading link in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. Helps with timing and um, also I treat it like a personal reading. I'll have some more details about it later. So with that, Virgo, let's just get started here. I'm going to cut the deck. We're going to pull some main energies here for you in love. Let's see what we have. Beautiful star card here. Some sort of bright opportunity here can talk about destiny, fate as well. Oh, wow. We got the lovers, Gemini. We also have Aquarius energy here. Let's see what else. And we also have here, okay, the Five of Swords. And let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Bottom of the deck here, okay, we got the Moon card. And we also have here the Two of Wands, okay. Something um, I feel here, there's an energy of feeling, you know, Something is unknown here, okay? Feeling like something's unknown, feeling like what what is the plan here? Somebody's feeling this. There's definitely an energy here with that five of swords of conflict. Someone's conflicted here, and I feel like there's a major decision someone here is trying to make. Could be dealing with a Pisces as well. <clears throat> So let's uh, let's look at the energy is here. Okay, star and the lovers. There's an energy here of somebody I feel that you may feel some chemistry with Virgo or they may feel chemistry with you. But there's an energy here of conflict. Someone's making a decision, okay? I feel like it could be the person that you are dealing with here, Virgo. I feel like somebody here, there's an energy here. This can talk about deep emotion. This can make, talk about here on um, two of wands, a decision here, okay? Trying to decide which path to take. This could also be you at a crossroads, but we also have the sun card, okay? And it's talking about a decision here for the future and um, potentially happiness here. Could be dealing with a Leo. So let's, uh, let's pull some tarot. We're going to do some clarifying as well, but let's see what the energy shows here. For Virgo in love. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Please show Virgo what they need to know in love. Okay, lovers can be a choice um, in love as well. So let's see here. Decision in love. Okay, Nine of Swords. All right, you're on somebody's mind here, Virgo. Nine of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. Know that roles and energies can be reversed. So if it resonates uh, the other way, then take it, okay? Ace of Wands, okay? Someone wants the opportunity with you, and I almost feel with this energy, okay? Not seeing the Four of Cups, but I almost feel like somebody's worried that they're going to miss the opportunity with you. Let's see what else here we have. Okay, three of pentacles. Let's get another card here. And the chariot. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we do have an ace of pentacles. All right. There's someone I feel, Virgo, who wants the opportunity with you, but there's something here that's on their mind that they're very conflicted about. Okay. And there's something here around making plans okay something unknown here i feel like this person could be trying to make some sort of plan but they're worried they want things to work here that's what it's showing me here with the three of pentacles and the chariot they want things to move forward with you could be dealing with a cancerian i almost feel like too um, with the three of pentacles there could be five of swords for me um, can be third party situation now it could be that there is a third party situation that that is causing the conflict here or is causing this person to have some sort of worry 
about things moving forward with you, but that's not going to be everybody. And third party can mean a lot of different things. Doesn't necessarily always mean, you know, another lover. However, we do have the lovers here, but let's see what the energy shows here for you, Virgo. What else can you share with Virgo? Okay, we got justice, Libra energy. There's that four of cups, and that's what I said here, right here. This is someone who's worried they're missing the opportunity with you here, okay? The emperor, yeah. This person's trying to make some sort of plan. Six of pentacles here. I feel like they're worried that you may be giving your time and energy to somebody else. Three of cups energy. Maybe they're seeing you out having fun. Um, you know, maybe they see you out dating other people. But I also feel like this is someone who is um, a little bit stressed. They're a little bit stressed here because I feel there's someone here that may be feeling that you could have other options and that they could be missing an opportunity with you. Now, you do have justice here. So justice can talk about fair judgment, okay? So this could be someone here that... You know, maybe they need to make something up to you or they need to make something right with you. That could be the worry here. We're going to clarify these energies. We're going to see what this is about. This could also be someone making a fair judgment here, okay, about coming towards you. That's the worry I sense here. you got Aries energy here as well. <clears throat> I almost feel like, um, Virgo, there's someone who wants to come towards you, but I feel like they could be worried that you're in another situation or you're talking to someone else. That's the third party energy I see here. Four of Swords. They're doing a lot of thinking here. Some of you, this could be someone that there's been some separation here. Okay, some distance. Let's see what else comes out for you, Virgo. Okay, Eight of Cups. So this person may feel like you have other options. Okay, and it, I, I feel like for some of you, this is someone right? That there could be a separation or distance. They may feel like your energy is pulling away, that you're exploring other options, that you've walked away for some of you, okay? But you got the Eight of Pentacles and you have the King of Pentacles. So what they want to change here, you got the Six of Swords. Now distance could be a factor with this person. This could just be energetically, there is distance here. But the Six of Swords is also about needed change. Needed change, moving on from conflict here, and the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Something has to change in the situation here for things to work out, to be stable between you and this person. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. We also send here Gemini, Cancerian, Aquarius, Libra are the strong energies I'm picking up so far. Okay, so let's start clarifying here. I first want to clarify that Five of Swords. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. Okay, Nine of Cups and the Four of Coin. Wow. This person's in conflict because their wish here is to hold on to you with that four of pentacles energy and two of cups they see you as the perfect partner here so this person's conflicted because i feel like there's some sort of decision remember here we had two of wands here and we have the moon card and then we have lovers here let's clarify the lovers because that also can be a decision in love tell me more about the lovers tell me more about the lovers Okay, we got the Queen of Swords and we have the Two of Swords here. All right. So, Virgo, I feel like you could have said something. You could have said something harsh to this person, especially if this is somebody that something happened between the two of you that caused distance or separation. Uh, that could be why this person is having a hard time making a decision. There's a difficult decision here, okay? I also feel here, too, this can be about this person making the decision to come towards you to communicate. There may be something here that they're needing to be honest with you about. Um, I feel here, let's ask that question. What does... Um, what does this person need to be honest about with Virgo? Please share with Virgo. What does this person need to be honest with Virgo? Okay. Oh, gosh. 
Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. Okay. They need to be honest with you. I feel that they see you as someone that they could be with. Okay. Definitely feels like this is someone who has um, sees you as a partner or somebody who has mutual love for you. They have feelings for you. But I will say with this Queen of Swords, this could be somebody who's a bit detached. They overanalyze, they overthink things. Okay, not with the Queen of Swords, with the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords, all right? But I feel like they're trying to be very strategic. They're too much in their head about this for some reason. So this is um, someone I feel they're trying to make the decision here. They want to reach out to you here, especially with the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, they want to try and make this work and they're not too sure if you're going to receive them well so I feel like that is why this person is really up in their head about you but they have um, it's almost like the light bulb has gone on here okay it's almost like an epiphany energy is what they're having and now the decision here is what do I say to Virgo how do I come towards Virgo how do I let Virgo know that I want the opportunity with them and the four of cups here does you know feeling like maybe Virgo has other options because I see Virgo going in a different direction that's the energy I'm picking up here you know they're not they're thinking here that you could be with somebody already you could be in another relationship um, Let's see what the worry is here. Tell me what this person is worried about. I feel like we've already said why. Um, to, a lot of cards dropped out here, but I'm going to take them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so interesting because you have, judge, you have justice and then you also have judgment here. So it feels like this is somebody who wants a second chance with you, Virgo. Okay. It feels like they may have messed up here. There's something here about... Um, them doing the right thing. I talked about fair judgment. We have the Empress and the Two of Wands. So this is someone I feel, again, they're making plans. They're making the decision here. They want, they're looking at the possibilities here of a second chance, I feel, with you, okay? Now, for some of you, maybe it's not a second chance if you don't have anybody here. This could just be someone who is a bit worried, and that could go back to their past here with judgment, Okay, maybe they have, this could be someone too who did not make really good decisions in the past around love and relationships. Maybe they are the ones, you know, this can also be the fear of getting hurt. So if you don't have anybody um, that, that, you know, you feel this could be, I feel like that could be this person here worried here, okay, because of, of their past relationships but you got the empress and the two of wands this is someone making the decision here okay they want a new beginning you can see with the empress card i love how they display the empress because the the empress is the birth of something new here but you got the world here too and the world card talks about new beginnings new chapters so this person is hoping for a new beginning with you uh virgo but there's something here that they're worried about let's let's see why the four of cups is here i feel like they feel like they could miss the opportunity with you and may already feel there's somebody else in your life tell me more about the four of cups <clears throat> yeah so ace of wands and we also have the five of uh coin here they have fear of rejection is what I see here, okay? And I talked about past hardship. So either it was a past hardship with you or there's this some, some a relationship in the past that they had um, that was very hard for them. So they're kind of getting, they're having um, a hard time like getting motivated how to start this, right? How to reach out to you. And some of you, this, this too for me can be in a truce, an apology. So it's, they're having a difficult time, I feel, um, about how to come towards you. Let's see what they're thinking about here with the Four of Swords. Tell me more about what this person is thinking about. Tell me more about what this, thinking, this person has been thinking about. We got the Fool. Okay, I'm just going to say, I don't say it very often, but it may be 
um, that this person felt like a fool, but I'm going to say here, this is someone wanting to take the risk, the leap of faith, 10 of cups. I'm going to say with the 10 of cups, I feel like this could be someone who feels, uh, you know, a fool for your love. I think that's a song, but I'm not sure. And king of coin. Okay. So they're willing to take the risk here. I feel like this is someone here that says secure abundance, right? Someone wants to secure, uh, this connection with you. Okay. I feel like it's not only about coming together and, you know, being romantic and, you know, being happy together, but I feel like they also want stability because I see with the six of wands, this is the goal here. This is the goal. This is a victory energy. They're hoping for a victory in the sun card here. Beautiful energy, Leo energy. We're actually in Leo season right now. So this is unbridled joy. This is someone who sees happiness with you. But I just feel like there's a fear here. Either there's a fear you're going to reject them or there's a fear that you're with somebody else. Tell me more about this three of pentacles. Tell me more about this three of pentacles. Okay, we got the ace of coin. Look at that. Ace of coin and the hierophant. Taurus energy. Three of pentacles. They want to build a foundation with you. They're thinking about a relationship here. They're thinking about a commitment here with the hierophant. Wow. This is someone serious, but it's like their fear here is holding them back from the communication because they feel... They either feel you're not interested, they either feel you're going to be reject them, or they see you exploring other options or moving on. So this person has taken some time, and remember you have the star card I said here, they're trying to find the balance here because they see you as a bright opportunity here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. So it's almost like this person is trying to find the right timing here to come towards you. Um, this is someone who is um, trying to be, you know, they're, they're very, feels like this is someone very patient. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Nine of Coin and the Temperance, yeah. So something here about timing and Eight of Cups is showing up again. This is stagnant routine here, okay? I almost feel like there's some time that's gone by. Um, and this person may be feeling like you're walking away or you have other options to explore here. Interesting. So um, Virgo, I'm going to pull some um, love oracles We're going to, and then we'll get some love notes. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. Now, Virgo, in the extended, I will dive deeper. Uh, what this person is thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, intentions. Love notes, guidance, and the next four weeks energy. Because it's, it's like this person's about to reach out. But there's, they're having some fears here, okay, or something I feel is holding them back from making the decision to reach out. But it's quite clear that they know what they want. Okay, yeah, look at this. Thoughts. They're trapped in their thoughts. It's that Nine of Swords energy here. Trapped in their thoughts. They're overthinking it. They're in their head. And it, again, it's another energy of fear. Okay, we have regrets. So some of you, like I said, this person's holding back because they have regrets of something that happened in the past. Okay, so they've tried to block that out. Um, so let's see what else we have. We have structure and foundation. So this is someone, like I said here, this is someone wanting to um, build or rebuild a... Uh, situation with you, a foundation with you. They're trying to find the balance here. This is someone also who is, I talked about patient, the, someone patient. They want to do this slow and steady, which is actually a good thing. 
you have disarming here and you have triggers okay this is the conflict energy so this is someone they're having a, a, a inner conflict an inner struggle here now i'm going to say for some of you that that inner struggle could be as i talked about up here that there could have been some harsh communication between you and this person at some point and that could also be what your person is struggling because there is some sort of fear here of rejection Okay, you know, for a lot of you, I feel like this is someone you know, okay, with the energy that's coming up here. Yeah, you got here belief systems and you have the mask. This is someone um, I feel here that they, they have certain beliefs that they conform to. And it can also be beliefs of what, you know, societal beliefs or what other people, you know, uh, believe in society that holds this person back. So... They get triggered here, okay, because they could be listening to ego. They could be conforming to other beliefs, and they're not being their, their true real self here, okay? Yeah, you got guilt here. So this person has some guilt or anxiety. This is sleepless nights as well. This person is not, <laughs> this person is, is so in their head, and they feel guilty and regretful about something here, okay? And that's what's causing the fear here, okay? So I feel like um, Virgo, yeah, and here's Ego. This is someone, Virgo, I feel like you've dealt with in the past. Somebody who has fears. Um, they want to reach out to you. They want to rebuild a foundation. They want a second chance with you. But they're really worried, okay, that you're going to reject them. And you may. You know, you could reject this person. We'll see in the extended how it plays out. Let's see uh, what the love notes have to say. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What love notes do we have here for Virgo from their person? Okay, it says attention of others. I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed, and I don't feel whole without it. Okay, so this could be someone who tries to get attention. Maybe they get attention from a lot of people. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Nervous. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. And I feel just in general, okay, with all the energy we're picking up, they're, they're nervous to reach out to you. Because they have the fear of uh, what your answer will be. We also have here still listening. And it says here, I listen to the music you've shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart, okay? And that can also be them hearing songs that maybe the two of you shared together, okay? All that kind of stuff here. So Virgo, I am going to take this to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.